Hey, what's happening everyone? I wanted to share one of my down and dirty quick tips here. Uh, I got a question over the past weekend on is it possible to set presets for doing inline and outline strokes to graphics and lettering. Um, for those in the custom paint world, when we lay out graphics on cars or lettering on cars or, or helmets or whatever, uh, we're typically using different types of fine line tapes and those common size are 16th inch, 8th inch, quarter inch and so on. Um, so when we do a graphic like this, you know, we plot it out in a plotter or you, you template it out. When you ultimately get around a curve, you might have to readjust it. So you want to have your, your inline outline strokes the same measurements as the tapes available to you. So that way you can repair it by hand. Okay, you know, going on the fly and doing weird sizes, you're going to have a hard time actually um, setting it up later so the fine line, everything lines up. So um, what I would normally do in the past is, you know, I would select it and I would offset it uh, with a bunch of commands and then it'd be done. And so after getting this question, I said, well, yeah, it would be easy to set up an action. Okay, uh, Adobe products and other pro products that might call something different in Corral and other programs um, have action sets. There's a bunch of preloaded ones in there. And where you find them is right here. You go to Window, Actions, you click Actions, and it opens up. Okay, the default actions are all here. There's a whole bunch of them. You know, rotate, uh, reflect horizontal. This, this, all this stuff is in here, and you can leave them up, and it's really, really quick. Um, sorry, quick to do a bunch of actions. So if you find yourself always needing to do certain things instead of always going manually, you know, uh, click on the device, object, uh, path offset path, put in the measurement, and hit OK. So let's do uh, negative 0.125, which is an eighth inch. Uh, I leave it on round, and I can preview it, and it goes right inside, OK? That's how you typically do it. Um, but what you can do it now is single click. So I have an action here for negative 1 eighth offset. If I click on it and hit play, it does it automatically. So you can leave it open here. It's it's all set. Um, if I do if I do it on the lettering, same thing. Here's uh, the inside. If I want to do an outside stroke, I click on the outside stroke and I hit play, and it goes outside. Okay, really quick and simple. Uh, on graphics like this, I'm going to back up here. Graphics like this, I don't really ever use the positive eighth inch because what happens is it does this round feature here, and when you choose the other two options, it just gives you a flat edge. So I always go to the inside. Okay, so really easy to make actions. Uh, here's a 16th inch one. So let me select this, 16th inch uh, offset positive. Nice 16th inch offset. Super easy. Um, so now I want to do a negative one. So this is how you make your own actions. I'm going to go here create new action. You're going to name it. So let me do, I'll do this as a negative, negative 1 16th offset. I'm going to leave this in my offsets uh, set of actions here. I can color code it if I want. And I'm going to hit record. Now once you hit record, it's going to record every key click and everything you select. So you want to record it, and then when you're done, you're going to come over here, and this will be highlighted, and you can stop it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to record. You're going to record the selection. Object. Path. Offset path, because that's what we're doing. And I want this to be a negative. So this is a negative 0, 0 0.0625 to five, which is the decimal uh, for a sixteenth inch. And we're going to hit preview to make sure it's right. And then we're going to hit OK. And now that's all recorded. We're going to hit stop. OK. Now that's been recorded. This is in there. It's in our set. We can use it for whatever. So here's the sixteenth inch. We click on it. Hit play. It's right there. Done. Um, you can record 20, 30, 40 actions in a row if you want. Um, there's a whole ton of them here. Like, um, let's go to default actions here. 
So here's uh, reflect horizontal. Play. Reflect it horizontal. It's done. You can alt and change it. You can do a whole mess of things in here. Uh, but that's all I wanted to do really quick. Show you how to do a quick um, action set for yourself of commonly used tasks. And um, this way you have your 16th, your 8th, your quarter, your 3 quarter, which is common size of your tape. So when you go to graphic layouts and you use a plottable mask, you can you know, do it by hand and marry it up to doing it by hand with standard tapes available. Remember, my theory is you need to know how to do it by hand traditionally as well as by computer if you're going to use uh, computers and plotter technology because if you don't know both ways, you will get yourself back into a corner. So I hope this helps, guys. Enjoy and be on the lookout for more uh, down and dirty tricks and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, and there'll be more of these coming. Thanks, all. And for a bonus, I am uploading this action set to my Shopify store, so please go by, check it out, and browse the rest of the stuff. Thanks for watching.